Jim Green, a native of Eminence, Kentucky, established himself as one of the top sprinters UK or the Southeastern Conference had ever seen. And he also helped integrate the SEC while becoming one of the first African Americans to graduate from UK. On the track, Green wasted little time making himself known. He claimed the 60-yard SEC crown as a freshman in 1968 before winning the same title at the NCAA Championships. He would repeat those titles in 1971 while garnering six more SEC individual titles during his career, including the outdoor 100-yard dash and 220-yard dash in 1968, 1970, and 1971. Now a member of the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame, Green set the school record in the 60 in 1968. At 6.7 seconds, his time is now fourth all time at UK. Also that year, he set a school record in the 100 at 10.24 seconds, which now is second all time at UK for a freshman. And in 1970, Green established a school record in the 200 with a time of 20.94 seconds, currently sixth all-time in school history. After his UK career, Green went on to compete internationally and at one time was ranked number one in the world in the 100 meters. As Rupp's right-hand man, Harry Lancaster helped the Baron guide the Wildcats to four NCAA championships between 1947 and 1968. The Cats lost 10 or more games in a season just twice during that span, while winning numerous Southeastern Conference titles. Lancaster also led the UK freshman basketball team to a 204-57 and record. Lancaster's connection to Rupp began much earlier than his days as Rupp's assistant. In 1930, the Wildcats' first season under Rupp, Lancaster played for Georgetown College, Rupp's first opponent as head coach. While the Cats won handily 67-19, Lancaster did shine for the Tigers, scoring 10 of Georgetown's points. In 1947 and from 1951 to 65, Lancaster also was the skipper of the UK baseball team. In his 16 years as head coach on the Diamond, he led the Cats to 163 wins. Lancaster made a name for himself as the leader of the UK Athletics Department from 1968 to 1975. He helped bring about many improvements in the state of athletics for the blue and white. He oversaw the construction of Commonwealth Stadium and the Shively Sports Center while helping plan for the construction of Rupp Arena. In addition, he served as AD during a time when women's athletics were on the rise in the U.S. Lancaster was integral in resurrecting the women's basketball program. During its first varsity season, the women's team, led by head coach Sue Feimster, finished 16-9 and, and set the stage for more than three decades of excellence by the women's basketball teams. Lancaster's legacy on the hardwood on the diamond and in administration helped make UK athletics the stellar program it is today. Mo Williams came to the bluegrass from Georgia, wasting no time in establishing himself as the Cats' top running back. As a freshman in 1993, Williams helped lead the Cats to the Peach Bowl, rushing for 928 yards on the season and averaging 5.7 yards per carry. He then followed up that performance in 1994 with 805 yards. But it was in 1995 that Williams made the nation take notice. He tallied 1,600 yards on the season, averaging 5.4 yards per carry, while scoring a school record 17 touchdowns. His 102 points that season is still the school record for points in a single season. Williams led the Southeastern Conference in rushing all-purpose yardage and scoring that year, en route to all SEC and SEC Offensive Back of the Year honors. He also was named a finalist for the Doak Walker Award, given annually to the nation's top running back. Williams' greatest moment on the gridiron came on September 23, 1995 at South Carolina. He set three SEC records that day and broke or tied five UK standards. 
On the ground, Williams accounted for 299 yards against the Gamecocks, while collecting 57 receiving yards and 73 yards on kickoff returns. His 429 all-purpose yards remain a UK and SEC record and are still second all-time in the NCAA. Williams finished his career second all-time at UK with 3,333 yards and his seventh all-time in scoring. He went on to play 10 years in the National Football League, spending nine of those with the Minnesota Vikings and one with the Baltimore Ravens. Among all the great players to grace the gridiron at UK, Williams is certainly one of the greatest.